Hi guys, I got a 1979 International Harvester Scout Traveler that I'd like to show you. And if anybody's interested in purchasing this fine vehicle, you can comment below or read the description and I'll have some information in there on how to get a hold of me. So again, this is a 1979 International Harvester Scout Traveler. They made the Scout Traveler from 1976 to 1980. And what makes the Traveler different from the original Scout 2 is right there is 18 inches longer than the regular Scout. Okay, so they extended it a little bit and called it a Traveler. They put a fiberglass top on it where the original Scout 2 has a metal top. So this has a fiberglass top. It does have room for three seats. Right now it just has the two. First row, second row, does have an option for a third row. Okay, as you can see, this thing is in pristine condition. Um, see that shine on there? And this is actually in the shade, believe it or not. Um, the body and paint was done last year. And uh, this is the original color for 1979. It's called Lexington Blue. There's a list of items that this truck has that is uh, it's a pretty long list. Start right up here at the top. It's got a brand new windshield. And uh, looking at the engine here, uh, it's got a brand new Holley carburetor. Um, looking over here, it has a brand new electric fan with a brand new three core aluminum radiator. Um, it does have brand new battery, brand new uh, master cylinder, brand new washer fluid tank over there. And uh, what I'm really excited about right now is uh, we just converted this truck over to HEI Ignition. Uh, Bill Hamilton out of Washington was nice enough to um, suggest this and uh, set me up with a new Holley distributor. And uh, everything that I needed to convert this, uh, convert this Scout over to HEI ignition. So it's got, like I said, it's got brand new uh, Warren hubs on it, brand new U joints all the way around, brand new shock, or I'm sorry, brand new calipers, rotors, and pads on it. Uh, looking at the front here, we have LED headlights with halos, we have LED fog lights, we have a SS grill. This is not an original from 79. Um, on a Traveler anyway. This is a special Scout SS grill. Um, looking back at the ignition here again, I'll show you that the Holley distributor right there. And then down here we've got the uh, HEI ignition. Original stickers are still on here. Let's look underneath the... Shiny underneath there. Let me take a side view of this. See how straight this is? Hopefully you can see that the sun here is just, it is hot today here in northern Michigan. Brand new OEM or NOS mirrors, put those on after the body and paint was done. White wagon wheels. Let's talk about the back for a minute. The back end of a Traveler. This is a back end of a Traveler. It is? No, it's really not. The back end of a Traveler normally has a full lift gate. So underneath that license plate, there would be a button down there that you would lift that whole thing up. So the whole back end would lift up. This particular Scout Traveler, with this fiberglass top, obviously with all Scouts, it's a removable top. So... I removed the top in the summertime. I put a bikini top on it, and the lift gate's got to go away. So when you take that lift gate off, you're you're left with a big empty hole right here. So this is a Scout Two tailgate. A Scout Two tailgate just bolts right on to to a Traveler. So I got a Scout Two tailgate, got her painted the same color, and uh, mounted the tailgate on here. Well, once you put the hardtop back on, 
If you don't put your lift gate back on and take your tailgate off, you're left with, again, a big hole right there. So I went to Nationals last year, and I found a cut-down Traveler lift gate, which um, I had to modify a little bit to get it to fit. And still in the process of uh, finishing this. Um, still got to paint it white. I got to put shocks on it. But uh, as you can see, um, it now has a regular lift gate and tailgate on this particular Traveler. Again, it does come with a resitch. All the lights, um, turn signals, flashers, brake lights, um, reverse lights, everything works. Okay, so here we're inside the Scout Traveler. It does have the white dash kit and a Sony audio system in here. Now down here you'll see the factory air conditioning unit. This truck originally had air conditioning in it. Um, we had it removed about five years ago. Um, didn't see the need for it with the bikini top and the top off, but I left the air conditioning unit underneath the dash. Um, good place to run wires and, and what have you. And as you can see down here, I've got this, this uh, switch uh, panel going on. Um, and I'll explain that in a minute, but let's fire this dog up. And see what she does. All the gauges work. Starts right up right away. As you can see, the fuel gauge is working, the alternate gauge is working. We move over here. The oil pressure gauge is working, and the temperature gauge is working. We also have a tachometer on here and an external oil pressure gauge down here. Now as far as these switches go, it's very simple. This first one here is for your halos up front. I've always got it switched on so when the ignition's on, the halos are on. Um, if I don't want the halos off, turn them off. Second one is simple. It's for your LED fog lights. Now this third one, this third one here, as you can see, there's a little green light next to it. Now what that does is controls my electric fan. Um, so when that green light is on, the electric fan has power. And right now it is, the engine's warm enough to where the electric fan needs to be on, so it's on and the light is on. Now if I were, um, I don't know, if I, if I decide I want to turn the electric fan on when it's, it doesn't need to be, um, I can just flick that switch and it'll manually turn it on. So it's an automatic, three-speed four-wheel drive transmission was rebuilt about three years ago and like I said I got about three no I got about a thousand miles on it since maybe a thousand miles she doesn't get driven much only in the summertime she gets stored in the winter the floors have all been what they call um, it's like a rhino line but it's called reflex we have bucket seats out of a PT Cruiser with armrests, they recline. This one totally folds down. Got my drum bag over there. Uh, the original center, center console. It does have the uh, original rear seat, and uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's all right aligned back here. And uh, we got some six by nines sitting back here on that. As you can probably hear the fan running. Can't hear it too much when the hood's shut. Oh, let me go listen to the exhaust. Down here we got the exhaust. And as you can hear, she knows she doesn't sputter, she doesn't do anything. And when we rev her up, alright, she sounds awesome. Okay, so that's about all I've got. Um, just a couple more list of items that are coming to my head. Uh, when we had the trans rebuilt, there's a new trans mounting bracket, whatever they call that thing. Uh, it's brand new underneath there. All the U-joints have been replaced. 
Uh, the gas tank's in great shape. The exhaust is in great shape. The suspension's in great shape. The shocks are in great shape. Um, it's got new body mounts all the way around. Tires are in great shape. These are 31 inch tires. No lift on this truck at all. This is all original. Uh, like I said, the bucket seats. Got a custom horn in it. I guess you're going to want to hear that. You're like, why didn't you honk the horn? <laughs> All right, it's nothing special, but it's uh, it's loud. <laughs> All right, so what does this truck need? Um, this truck needs nothing. It's loved already. Um, if you are thinking about maybe purchasing this vehicle, um, one of the requirements that are, are needed for this thing is love. You need you need to love this truck. This truck will love you. Um, this truck has never stranded me anywhere. Um, I don't drive it much, but when I do, you know, sometimes I go to these car shows that are 50 miles away, and uh, she gets me there no problem. She gets me back no problem. Never had any issues. It can be used as a daily driver. It can be used as a as a trailer queen, whatever. Um, I haven't taken it to any car shows this year uh, due to my work schedule. Uh, last year we did take it to several of them and it took first place at the Lewiston Car Show. That was a two-day event. And at another place it took view viewer's choice um, up in Indian River. So, like I said, I'll leave comments down below. And if you're interested, let me know. This is my baby. And here comes my other baby in. But, alright, as you were.